Hello, welcome to Freak Factory. I am a Ramshackle, and this is the show where I draw stuff based off of dice rolls. Kind of like the reverse of AI art. You can see here, based off of my prompt, which probably needs to be fixed, that I have rolled Humanoid as the first category, Desert as the second category, and Undead, Otherworldly, and Demonic as the third category. So let's get a drawing going and see what that looks like. So I start by drawing a horizon, and then some deserty mountains. And then for the figure drawing, I actually recommend using figure drawing. I'm not really sure what I did here, but I brute forced it into working. I decided to go with an undead sort of science fiction desert survivor you can see here that I'm using my pile of mangled hot dogs technique for the hands Now it's time for some ink. I start by outlining portions of it and then uh, shading those in and then back and forth. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking. The skeleton doesn't need a gas mask or a respirator or whatever that is. Well, I've got two options for you here. It can either be a respirator still on him from when he was alive, or it could be some sort of uh, uh, technology magic that reanimates bony corpses. Either way, I thought it looked really cool, so sticking with it. Why not? So I'm kind of, I'm making up a lot of this on the fly here. That's why I like to uh, do a lot of doodling, so I don't need to rely on uh, trying to render everything in a sketch beforehand. You can just kind of doodle some of it. So I'm drawing in some of the details in his poncho and backpack here. Trying to get the folds and the poncho to look like they're overlapping each other a little bit. Helps me a lot if I shade it as I go um, with the drapery, the cloth stuff. Giving him a uh, wrist thing. <laughs> Do dad for trolling his other gizmos, I guess. Decided to reverse the direction of the hand at the last second. 
shading in his bony fingers. drop shadow under the edge of the poncho there. Pinky out. Just going through and adding a little details and refining the face. I decide to take it to the bone zone on the uh, other arm here. Now that I have most of the structure drawn out, I'm just going to go through and work on little details and shading, trying to keep a light source in mind. Moving things back into shadow. canister right here because why not who doesn't like a good canister adding some bunching and wrinkles and shading this poncho canister details here and there, everywhere. I don't think I was very happy with this one at first. But I stuck with it. The way it's turning out. There's a couple flaws here and there, but overall, not too bad. So, yeah, I'm just uh, lining in the background and giving it some rocky texture. Trying to make the details closer to the foreground a little bit larger. A little bit more shading in the poncho. And then I'm just strengthening up the outline a little bit. Give it a little contrast. Decided to add some clouds in the sky, so just drawing some lines in pencil. Tracing them for the bottom edge of the clouds. Some little ones in the background, and then some texture on the bigger ones. made it this far consider subscribing and uh thanks a lot all right bye